Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I am showing you how to make a Game Pass door for your Roblox game, which is where people can buy Rob used Robux to get a realm or something. So I'm gonna teach you how to do it. So first of all you go to create wait for it to load. And then you do create new game. And then select base plate, then create game. All right. So here we have the new game. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the start place. So click there, go to store, and then click add pass. All right, and when it is loading, do a choose a file and then name it. Oh, forgot the file. Just select um anything you want. All right, so then you click preview verify upload there it is here is the game pass click on test now open up a new roblox tab alright now go back to that game and now we're gonna get in and edit so if we so right here edit um, roblox studio is gonna open up So if you don't have it downloaded, just click download and it will start to download. Alright, so here we are in studio. So here is where the tutorial starts. So start by placing a part. Now you're going to want to scale it like it's a door and you can change the transparency to something like 0 0.15 alright next it is time for scripting so with scripting everything needs to be perfect and one typing error will make it not work so be sure if it doesn't work check your scripts see if they match exactly what the screen says but here we go let's start the scripting so we start with local door equals script dot parent then enter two times function open wait my bad alright function space open and then do oh my gosh I'm really messing up here alright here we go finally open and then like that and then do door dot can collide equals false and then end and then double enter and then do function space close parentheses door dot can collide equals true then keep that end there and then enter function space get underscore player part and then do four underscore comma space player in i pairs and then parentheses game dot players colon get wait dot um players colon get players then that and then oh forgot so when you're done with these parentheses do space then do and then enter and then do if part colon is descendant of parentheses player 
dot character then parentheses space then then enter and do return player here you have your ends you can make it organized by just clicking in front of the last one then pressing backspace twice alright so when you're on that end do enter down two times and then do door dot touched colon connect function part and then do enter local player equals get underscore player part and then enter local character equals player dot character and then do if not player then return end and then double enter then do local allow equals left parenthesis and enter game colon get service marketplace service alright how about let's do one like that and then when you're out of there do colon user owns game pass a sync and then parentheses player dot user ID um, comma space ID now we'll get to this ID part later when we're done with the full script then do enter well you don't have to because we have the next part here I can delete that and do enter and then a right um, a right parenthesis alright and then do double enter then if allow then then enter open parentheses then enter delay now this number here is how much time the door will be open for the for the character to go through so I'm gonna do point four so no one else can glitch in and then comma cl space close then enter backspace else enter character dot humanoid dot health equals 100 so if the person does not have the game pass they can either die by putting zero or lose 50 health or 100 to stay completely normal so I'm gonna let them stay completely normal but you see with this ID here what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to your, the game pass tab we had open and you're going to copy these numbers here and then you're going to enter studio you're going to highlight just the ID you're gonna right click on that and then paste now this is the ID of the game pass right there so yes this is the ID and the script is now done so you can pause the video here to see if everything matches up right here so if we do test this out do view output right here and there's what, what says the errors and since we do have the game pass owned we should be able to walk right through so head over to your door let's see boom we just walked through it and see how it kinda you get the perfect spot it kinda blocks you out that's the point four now you can change that point four to 100 that's 100 seconds for people to enter you can do point 3 but just keep it at point 4 I think that's the best one to do 
the next part now is something that they click to buy the game pass so you do a part change the color to green scale it so it's like a little tall move it so it's on the door it's kinda hard at some angles but like that and now you're going to do you're going to add a script I believe it's a script if it doesn't work then we'll do a local script cause it could be that as well so if we can delete this here alright now to start this out not responding Good, nice timing well alright just wait a second so here this might happen to your studio sometimes if something goes wrong I don't think it's gonna get back alright so let's X out Hopefully it's saved. Let's edit it edit again. Well this went to disaster pretty click pretty quick. So yeah. I'll show you a finished version. Oh my gosh, no. Well, the part kind of got deleted because it didn't save. But now I'll show you the second part. So, what we were continuing. So, scale it like this, color green. So, yeah, this is what you put on the door so they can click to buy. So, part, you're going to add a script into the part it works this time it does so local all caps now click underscore block equals script dot parent then enter local item underscore ID equals ID so that ID here is the number again from the test so copy it again then paste it here and then do local click equals instant dot new then parentheses quotes click detector and then you're going to do comma click block then parentheses finish that off then double enter click underscore wait no click space mouse wait click dot mouse click colon c connect function and then in parentheses just put p and then enter and then do game colon get service marketplace service and then colon prompt game pass purchase and then parentheses p dot item id so it should look like this yeah so it should look like this so let's see if it's gonna work or not so here we go when we click on the block it should tell you that you can buy so let's see here see if we get close enough we see we get the click and it's not so it says here item ID is not valid member from of player so maybe with this we need to maybe change put the no well something's up here but yeah let me check the um, scripts here 
in Crystal Simulator 2 because it works there. So we'll see what the problem is. So it's something with um something with this line. Something with this item ID. So here is Crystal Simulator 2. We see I have used a script for this and here is the buy button. You can um put surface GUIs on it. Oh, I see the problem. Guys, here it is. Instead of a period, it's a comma. So that is where the problem is coming in. All it is is just a comma that might set. See, it, you have to have everything right for things to work with Lua and scripting. See, it comes down now when you click on it. It comes down saying you already own the item because you do. So when if we get the door back here, I'm just gonna copy it from Crystal Sim. So we got it back. Here's the block. So now I'm just gonna go into the script and change the ID. When I was working with this before I did um I did just pasted just said something paste your game pass ID here alright so now if we do play it should work so we'll be able to go through the door see we can click on that to buy boom just went through it so there you go guys if you enjoyed the video like and subscribe all scripts will be in the description and make sure you don't just copy and paste them and then leave it. You remember you do have to change the game I you do have to change the IDs of the game pass. So you can make a little realm with stuff and make a nice thing to help out your game. So see you guys next time. Like and subscribe. Bye.